Hi, my name is Meg and I work on the creative team here at Courtney Jean. And today I'm gonna to be talking about tips and tricks I use to prolong my hair wash throughout the week. So I have longer hair and I get asked all the time um, what I've done to grow it out, how I keep it healthy, and all of that. I have found that one of the biggest tools to keeping my hair healthy and also to growing it out has been just washing it once a week. So I'm sure many of you know that it actually is healthier to not wash your hair every day. And I've kind of trained my hair to be able to just wash it one to two times a week. So starting out, I first, before I shower, I use the Aveda Purifying Scalp Cleanser. And I use this before I get in the shower, so while my hair is still dry. And what I do with this is just section my hair off into about four sections, and I just drag and squeeze so that the serum is just getting all over my scalp pretty much. And once I've done that, I rub it in with my fingers and I let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. And I'm convinced this is like the secret weapon of all hair products. It is amazing. What this does is it first exfoliates your scalp and it also purifies and just removes uh, you know, product buildup and dirt, but along with that, it also balances out and normalizes the sebum levels of your scalp so that your scalp isn't overproducing the natural oils that it does throughout the week. For shampoos and conditioners, I really feel like I've tried a lot of what's out there. I've done the drugstore end of things. I've done the really, really high end of things. I feel like this is somewhere in the middle. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I really feel like you get more of a bang for your buck when purchasing this. It lasts for forever, and I really have noticed a difference in my scalp and in my hair. So this is the Matrix Biolage Normalizing Clean Reset Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo and it also just normalizes those natural oils that I talked about before, along with moisturizing. So I feel like it's kind of everything combined into one and it smells amazing, which is a big plus. Okay, for conditioner, I try and go with just a really moisturizing conditioner. Especially in the winter, I struggle with having really dry ends, so I try and just find the most moisturizing conditioner I can. This is also Matrix Biolage, and this is called the Sugar Shine System. It's for normal to dull hair, which in the winter I kind of feel like I have. I really just feel like this is just like a moisture surge every time I use it, and I absolutely love it. So after the shower, really the only product I use is Moroccan oil. This is definitely more on the expensive side, but I cannot say enough good things about this product. Honestly, if I could pick just two products from this entire uh, assortment, I would pick my scalp cleanser and my Moroccan oil. For the Moroccan oil, I put this on about five to 10 minutes after I've showered so my hair isn't still soaking wet, but just more damp. And I do one to two pumps depending on kind of time of year. And I just put it in my hair from the ends down. This, I feel like moisturizes, it helps with dead ends, it helps with split ends, helps repair split ends, and just makes your hair smooth, it helps with frizz. It seriously is just absolutely amazing. Okay, so that is everything that I use the day that I wash my hair. So about day one, day two, you know, I just go about my normal hair styling routine like um, like always. I usually curl it the first day, second day I'll kind of retouch it, and about the third day is when I start using dry shampoo. I think it's really important to not use dry shampoo until about the second or third day. These are my two favorite dry shampoo products. This is Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. This is Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love both of these. Both of these can be found at drugstores, um, pretty cheap and I really love them both. I have found that the biggest key for me when using dry shampoo is using it the night prior. So I, just like normal, I will hold the can about you know 12 inches away, spray in different sections, and then I won't brush it out. And then I will put my hair up in a top knot using a scrunchie or a thin hairband so it doesn't kink my hair at all. And then the next morning, I'll apply just a little bit more dry shampoo and brush it out. 
but I feel like not brushing it out and doing it the night prior really just helps soak up all those oils and all that grease, so I love doing that. Like I said before, these two dry shampoos are awesome drugstore options, but if you're looking for something more on the high-end side, I love Bumble and Bumble's pret a powder dry shampoo. It lasts for forever and it doesn't leave any white residue in your hair after spraying. And finally, one last tip I'm sure many of you have heard and also use the wet brush, but I absolutely love this. I'll use this right out of the shower and just throughout the week. This really helps minimize breakage when brushing your hair. So those are just a few of my tips and tricks for just helping minimize oily, greasy hair and helping your hairstyle last throughout the week. I hope this helps. Let us know any tips and tricks that you guys have and if you use any of these products and if you like them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.